It was cold and wet on Friday night in Algonquin as the three and five Dundee Crown Chargers visited their District 300 arch rivals, the one and seven Jacobs Golden Eagles. Kickoff was delayed over an hour due to lightning, but both clubs clearly maintained their motivation by the time it was kickoff. DC recovers the first of five total turnovers in the contest as the awful conditions caused 11 total fumbles on the night. Both teams would have early chances but couldn't break through. DC shuts down Jay Bradford here. A big run by Ian Salvatini gets the Chargers rolling, but they come up empty on the drive. It's then Adam Dybeck taking the ball deep into DC territory. Dybeck finished with 108 rushing yards in the night on seven carries. But Dybeck and the Eagles are soon turned away. Back with the ball, Salvatini breaks off another big run. He finished with 165 rushing yards on 25 carries. Setting up this DC touchdown with eight seconds left when Kissack hits Jeff Beck on a 14-yard strike. It's 7-0 DC at the break. With the rain making its return at the start of the third quarter, the momentum shifts. On its opening possession, Jacobs ties it up. Dybeck sheds multiple would-be tacklers and takes it in on a 60-yard run, just over a minute into the third. Things then begin to slip away from the Chargers. First, it's Kissack, coughing it up. Then Salvatini loses it when he's wrapped up by Ben Albano, with the Eagles taking over at DZ's 24. Dale Cook then takes it in from 20 yards out to put Jacobs in front 14-7 with 14 seconds left in the third. Soon after, the Chargers fumble again. Albano recovers on DC 7. Two plays later, QB Alex Starr takes it in from one yard out to put Jacobs up 21-7 with 11-15 left. The Chargers attempts to get back at it are shut down. And although they get a chance late in the game after a fumble recovery by Tommy Newman, just can't get in the end zone. Salvatini is taken down here to virtually wrap it up. The Golden Eagles triumph 21-7, ending their losing streak at 7 and stretching their win streak against D.C. to 6. Yeah, we talked about giving the seniors uh, the last one of the season, giving the juniors the start to the next season. It's a great way to, to finish the season. We've been through an awful lot together this year, and um, it, it, was, it was neat to see how we pulled together. Second half, you know, didn't give up and made some things happen, and um, it was is a good way to finish. You know, a lot of stuff we wanted to do, we couldn't do. And so, you know, it's, 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 it was the same conditions for them it was for us. I mean, I'm not making an excuse for anything. So, you know, it just, it did, it did hurt, it hurt us, but we still could have got the job done and we just didn't. For Courier Prep Football Weekly, this is Andy Rohr.